I'm actually going to be talking about Colorado passing a bill about no longer using the term illegal alien in in any kind of bills or anything like that or any kind of state laws. They, they're going to call it undocumented workers or foreign nationals. And I actually kind of have a problem with that. Yeah. Not that I don't believe that there should be a path for citizenship and all that kind of stuff like that. And I know they say, bring us, bring us your, your poor, your weak, your huddled masses, which I am all for. My wife, her, she's the first generation of her family to be born in this country. My, my mother-in-law is from another country. My grandmother-in-law, from another country. All of my mother-in-law's siblings, from another country. And they're great citizens of this nation, but they got in this country the right way. They are Americanized, they are citizens. But what it means for them is they are technically a foreign national, which that's, a foreign national is not a bad term. A foreign national is any person who is legally in this country and now they're a resident here. They're a resident of this country now that originally was a resident of another country. First was born in another country, raised in another country, came here, they're, they're a citizen here. That's what a foreign national is. But this law states that they actually want to call anybody who's in this country, legally or illegally, a foreign national. And I actually think that um, that trivializes the people who did it the right way. That's, that's all I'm saying. I'm just saying, but using that term that's essentially saying, well, wait a minute, what about the people who did it the right way? That you're, 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 you're not distinguishing between them now. Uh, then the other thing, undocumented worker, there's some people in this country illegally that aren't working. So why would you call them an undocumented worker if they're not working? And that's the thing is like, I have no problem. I don't think calling somebody an illegal alien is a bad term. That's just, that's just me. Like some people think it's, 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 a, it's racist. And it, no, it doesn't matter what country you're from. It's, it is what it is. How do you feel about that? Cause I mean, I'm all about bringing p people into this country. I just feel that if they're going to be in this country, they have to do it the right way. I think they, and I do think it needs to be reformed because I think they not necessarily make it easier, but, um, well, maybe, maybe making it easier, but also at the same time with our country doing diligence in the background checks to make sure we're not bringing people in here who want to do us harm. Um, but, but I'm all about opening the border. Some of the best people I know uh, did not start in this country. Not only my in-laws, my family, and everything like that, but my... Uh, when I lived in Colorado Springs, my wife and I and our kids lived in Colorado Springs. We lived in a neighborhood where the majority of the people of that neighborhood did not speak English. Um, we, they didn't. My neighbors, my neighbor's daughter had to translate for me what her dad was saying whenever I would go over there and him and I would talk. And we, he, he would speak broken English when he could. So here's the deal, though. And this guy was one of the hardest working, best people I knew. I mean, this guy was amazing. And proud to have this guy in the country. Had a, started his own business, successful business, was just doing amazing work. Great man in the community. And the thing is, is even he was kind of like, you know what? He was upset about the people getting this country illegally. So that's the one thing is like everybody wants all these illegal aliens or these people getting into this country. Just let them all in. The problem is, what about all the people that came in here the right way? Because they bide their time. They took the steps. They did everything they needed to do to become a or foreign national or whatever, like a, a naturalized citizen. But they became they became American citizens. They did it the right way. And some of them are upset because they're like, well, this person is going to be cheating it. This person is not having to do what I had to do. So a lot of times he was upset with all because he was like, they're giving me bad, they're giving him a bad name. Because because as soon as they talk to him, they're like, oh, well, are you in this country legally? Yes, he is. But so many people just automatically assume that they're not. And I, I, that upsets me a little bit because um, I, th I, I love our diversity. I love our nation's diversity and how we bring we bring the best of the best and not always the not always the best of the best from every nation. I understand that, but I'm also about helping refugees and helping people, and that's what we're here for. That's what America does that nobody else does as well as we do is we help people, and I love that. So, I don't know. Do we come up with another term other than illegal alien? Possibly. I still think we need to have a term for people that are not in this country legally. That's all I'm saying with that. You know, I still think we need to have a term that separates people who are here illegally and legally. I think there still needs to be a differentiation between the two. But I, because like whenever you start start clumping them in together, you're trivializing trivializing the people that did go through the steps and the processes to become a citizen of our country. That, that's that's the only thing I'm saying. He's like, you know. You know, I mean, it's such it's such a thing. It's like because you have the whole conversation of like, well, people came in here illegally and they have kids here in this country. Do they are the kids 
naturalized? Do they are they officially U.S. citizens because they were born here, even though their parents weren't here legally? It's such it's it's such a difficult conversation to find the right answer. You can see the arguments on both sides. If we got good people here, I'm happy. There are criminals that do come into our country. There is, but there's also criminals that are here as well. That's the whole other thing. Some people are like, oh, we're letting in all these criminals. That's bull. That we're letting in all these criminals. There's bad people here too. There's American citizens who are crap who do stupid things. I was reading a story today, Loveland High School janitor arrested for child pornography. Guess what? He was born in this country, still a dirtbag. Just because you're born in this country doesn't mean you're benevolent and you're better than everybody else. That's bull crap. You know, so, I don't know. Getting on a soapbox here, wow, I'm getting so ranty this morning. It's Friday, I should be happy. I am happy. It's Friday. <sighs> I, and I would love your feedback as well, uh, down below. I mean, what, what do you guys uh, think needs to be done or how do you feel about this colorado bill should we come up with another term other than illegal alien because illegal alien it sounds very it has turned into such a negative thing illegal alien does have a negative stigma to it now even though it technically is i mean an alien is anybody who comes to this country legally or illegally it's you're an alien if you're visiting it just it is what it is so what else do you call that i mean i understand so it's such a slippery slope with that but at the same time is i don't like to trivialize the people that did it the right way um because there's some amazing people that came to this country and did it the right way and we're so, we are lucky, lucky to have some of these people. Most of them, all of them, you know? And that's one of the things I love about our country is the diversity. Yeah, there are some idiots that are racist or prejudiced towards other races and cultures, but those are definitely in the minority. They're outnumbered the people that appreciate the diversity that we have.